why in the history did people Frankenstein mummies? Let's go back to Scotland to answer that question. So in 2001, researchers at the University of Sheffield discovered two 3,000-year-old Scottish bog bodies, aka extremely well-preserved mummified corpses found in Europe that were buried in a grave, then dug up and reburied under a prehistoric house. But get this, these bog bodies were buried in the fetal position 300 to 600 years after they died. And when the researchers did DNA experiments on the remains, it revealed that the two bodies were actually made up from the body parts of six different people. Bones like the lower jawbone, skull, and arm on the female skeleton came from three different people who died around the same time. But isotopic dating showed that the second skeleton, a male, was made from three other people who died hundreds of years apart. So the researchers weren't entirely sure why these skeletons were patchworked together like that. Maybe the head dropped off and the ancient Scot simply got another head to stick on. Or was the body a symbolic ancestor that embodied traits from multiple lineages? Whatever the reason, there may be more composite mummies out there. In ancient Western Europe, a skeleton with the torso and limbs of one man, the skull and neck of another, and the lower jaw from a third was discovered. And in the Chilean Andes, embalmers reconstructed bodies with sticks, black wigs made of human hair, and even sea lion skin. But the discovery in Scotland changed how archaeologists think about death practices in prehistoric Britain. In fact, these skeletons support the theory that mummification in prehistoric Britain was more common than we previously thought. What in the history do you want to know next?